Hi, my name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. And in this week's episode, I'm going to talk about my new OM20AE acoustic guitar by Martin. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday Talks. Oh my God, something has arrived and um, I need to use my dining room table to open it. I'm gonna drag it into this room now. One moment. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Oh, that is still in tune. This is my new OM28E reimagined from Martin, Westside Distribution. Thank you so much. So, so excited. Ooh. Okay, firstly, you have to forgive the rain in the background. It is pouring in Nashville. However, um, you will have seen this guitar crop up in quite a few videos actually. I've had it for about six weeks now. I was just too proud to not be playing it and not be working with it. Yeah, I now want to get around to making this video where I introduce it to you and exactly what model it is and exactly what makes it so special. There are four players in mind that I think really, really influenced me to desire a Martin and a few of them you might be able to guess, maybe one in particular. Um, but really, I remember seeing Gabrielle Aplin when I was maybe early, early 20s at Thecla in Bristol, and she was playing a beautiful, must be dark, it was like dark mahogany maybe? I'm not sure what model she had, but it was beautiful, and she was playing lovely acoustic parts. And as a songwriter that I admired, I you know, it just resonated that she was playing a Martin. That, and obviously knowing the Where the Light Is album by John Mayer, seeing him on stage, absolutely killing it, with an acoustic instrument that I feel, this one in particular, is very suited to electric guitar players because this body is so slim, sort of, it's sort of, uh, I don't know, it's sort of like, it's thin at the top and then bows out, I don't know what the right term is. Um, but it's just very, very comfortable for electric guitar players. So that uh, album, then obviously Eric Clapton, you know, it's Eric Clapton. So if he plays a Martin and then has a signature Martin guitar, um, as a guitar player and all the guitar stores that I visit, usually that one is up on the wall um, with his beautiful signature uh, stitched into the, into the fretboard. The mother of pearl inlay. That and then a good friend of mine and that's Angela Petrilli. So luckily enough I, um, I knew what models she used and I knew that she had an OM28V so the necks are very different and mine's a lot slimmer uh, which suits my hands and my preference um, but this is an OM28E and it's a brand new model, and I'm gonna run through a few of the specs for you. So this guitar has 20 frets, but 14 are really accessible. Um, so the neck goes up to 14, so I can actually get up. If it, if it had been any lower, I would have struggled to play some of my songs. Um, and you know me, I like to solo up and down the fretboard rather than across, so it was pretty suitable to me. And the first time I ever came across the OM28E was at GAC Music in Brighton, standing for guitar and keyboards. And um, I came across it and I sat down with it and I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, I've fallen in love. And obviously that happens Frequently in lovely guitar stores, you find the instrument um, that you have kind of always wanted. 
But when it comes to acoustic guitars, the one thing that's quite special about them for me is that I might not play them all that much live, however it might change with, with this instrument, but I write my songs with them. So although I play electric guitar on most recordings, some of the recordings I'm working on at the moment are electric guitar based, that sound comes later. And I love to have a well-rounded sound while I'm writing. So if your electric guitar tone isn't quite dialed in to the way that you kind of imagine, um, it's quite hard to write with. And also singing and playing electric guitar, you might have to be mic'd up because obviously it depends how loud you have your electric guitar. Um, but really, sometimes I struggle with that, like getting the right tone and getting the warmth of the amp. It has to be a certain volume. So writing on acoustic guitar, it's just naturally, it just naturally works with my voice anyway. And I can get a lot of dynamics out of it. And sometimes it sounds like a cathedral. It just has a beautiful low end for the size of the body. And you know, what, what, what did I expect? It's a Martin. Honestly, the first weekend that I got it, I just smelt, I just smelt it because it was so, oh my God, it was just intoxicating. The smell of these instruments, like the quality of the wood, the quality of the build, I'm feeling very, very fortunate and I know how fortunate I am to be able to travel and write with this instrument and take it on the road because, yeah, I was provided with a mono bag um, and I've had a few arguments getting onto planes with it, but luckily everyone has uh, so far given in. Um, but that's another video, I'm sure. It has a Sitka spruce top. I always struggle to say that. And then it has East Indian rosewood back and sides. And then it has an ebony fretboard and ebony bridge. It's got a glued dovetail neck and this beautiful gloss finish, which can be sometimes difficult because you'll be able to see, <laughs> see my lights in it. But in person, it is so unbelievably perfect. It's got this antique white binding and then nice inlays, um, these sort of diamond shape inlays. So this is where the LR bag system sits just here really, really discreetly. It's got an under saddle pickup, but then it's also got a microphone too, so you can blend both. Then here you can see these nickel open gear tuners. So as I mentioned, I write songs on acoustic guitars and it takes me a little bit of a while. It's the same with surroundings. Like it takes me a while to get comfortable um, enough and vulnerable enough to write a song. However, in the last couple of months, because I've been traveling so much, I feel like I just had to put those worries to rest. And when this came, I think I literally wrote a song on it on the first day and I ended up writing the majority of my next EP, which I'm working on currently, um, on this guitar. Like, whether it was even just amending songs and getting them up to scratch, but being able to do demos on this guitar using just my phone and an MV88 Plus, whatever, getting all the demos down, it sounded so good. And I guess, you know, that's only to be expected. But um, it's so mellow, it's so rich and really, really playable. It was, it was always gonna be perfect, but. So far away from where we were Now you're standing next to her I can see you looking across the room towards me Should I stare ahead or catch your eye? I'm next to friends that have kept me alive while my world is falling apart, it's falling. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you own a Martin yourself and um, tell me how wonderful it is. <laughs> um, if you feel so inclined to check out the full version of the song that I was playing in this video, then head over to Patreon for my secret song club where I am releasing videos of material that is yet to be released into the wild. It's not, you know, it's not super polished, it's just little performances of new songs or songs that I've had for a while that I just want to put out into the world uh, for my Patreon following. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. So far away from where we were Now you're standing next to her I can see